Hello guys, good, good evening everybody. Welcome to our English class. Hello everyone. Good night, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello guys, welcome. Welcome you all for Hello. So our English class. It's actually a great pleasure to have you here, um, a new night. So having a great time and waiting to practice English because it's important, you know, always uh, to be encouraged, to ready to study English and also do your best. So it's a good time in some part of the country is uh, raining and it's great. I mean, I love, um, you know, rain, uh, but especially when we stay home, right? So that's one of the valuable things. So it's, uh, it's a great time for all of us to study English today. So let's begin today with the, with the class. Y pues vamos a dar inicio haciendo un feedback related to last class. So what do you remember we studied in the last class? ¿Qué hicimos en la clase anterior? Who would like to like share what we did? What do you remember? What topics, what exercises we developed? Los países y las nacionalidades. Thank you. What, yes, what else? What else do you remember? También a hacer una, un, a ser negativo a donde vivimos. Okay, thank you so much. Great job. What else do you remember? The 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 practice pronunciation. Uh, pr practice pronunciation. The negative statement. Yes. Okay, some personal statements. That's great. So thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. We're talking a little bit about uh, nationalities. We're talking about a country. We're talking about the the nationality and also the language. So we combine three uh, important parts. And also many of the countries, the many of the nationalities are very similar to their language. So uh, German is the nationality and German is the language. So um, many of these have the same name, so in that case. So it was like kind of easy for us to understand this part. So um, I don't know, but in some places in El Salvador, it's raining. So I really love the rain. And um, I know that this could affect the internet connection of some students, but we'll try the best we can in this hour's class. So let's begin today talking about um, the W equations with B. That is going to be the main topic. Is the video conference number seven, W equations with B. We'll continue also working with some questions and also some possible answers about that. And before we start, we go on to the, the first part of this. Um, one second, let me make it big. Okay, much better now. So one of the things that I love is that most of us, we... Um, managed the use of the verb be. La mayoría de ustedes ya maneja lo que es el, el verbo be, the verb be. So it's about practice. Uh, puede ser que de repente diga, no, teacher, es que a veces yo me confundo o se me olvida. It's, it's something that happens because we need to get familiar with that. Como les explicaba, eh, esto no es como se dicen por arte de magia, para que ya vamos a saber a la primera vez, lo que es, es cuestión de práctica, es cuestión de práctica y perseverancia. Muchos de los que han aprendido uno o más o tres idiomas saben que tienen que ir paso a paso. Step by step learning. Eh, also studying, taking an extra time for studying. And also you, you will see results. Ustedes van a ver resultados. But you have to work so hard as fast as you can and as hard as you can too. And also with motivation up. Okay, so we have here the following um, statement. It says, where are they from? Where are these people from? And check in your guesses. So for this, uh, we have the first one, the number one. Do you know this person? Talia. Okay. Mexican. Where, where, Mexican. Where, is she, where, is she, where is she from? Mexican. She's Mexican. She's, She's from Mexico. Mexico. She's from Mexico. 
What's her nationality? Mexican. 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 Okay, she's Mexican also. What language? Spanish. 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 In English. Okay, great job. And where is Mexico located? Mm. Where Mexico. is Mexico located? Mm. <laughs> ¿A dónde está ubicado México? In America. What parts of America? Yo no, no. North America. In the North America. North America. North America. Yes, it's North America. Great job. So we know about nationalities. We know where the country is located. It's because some people from Europe or some other, uh, you know, places, they sometimes they don't know about some other countries, about artists, so they ask different questions. Okay, um, and that is uh, something very, very interesting. So we go on with the next one. And also what, uh, you know, she's a singer, right? You know, she's a singer. So let's go with the second one. Uh, look at the second one. Um, okay, Charlie's theorem. Do you know uh, where is she from? She's to Africa. South, South Africa, South. South. South Africa. South Africa, okay, that's great. Exactly, so is a long distance, but also uh, she also, she's American too. As we say in Spanish, like nacionalizada. Okay, so that's why she, but she's from uh, South Africa. And this is very interesting about that. And let's continue talking about uh, South Africa. And um, do you know what language is South Africa? English? Oh, they also speak English, yeah, definitely. And also, that is very interesting to know about South Africa. Mm. And, and also, uh, they speak English, and also they speak Africans or uh, dialects. Uh, they also speak some dialects, right? Dialects. Yeah, dialects. So, uh, tiene sus dialectos eh, de Sudáfrica, pero también hablan inglés. Okay, let's see the next one. And also, we have a famous person that we know here. That is um, Nideo. Recording in progress. No, look, look at this one. Look at this one. Do you know about por ahí, uh, Hideo Nomo? Um, do you know where is he from? Japan, Japan. Japan. Yeah, Japan. Japan. What is what is his nationality? Japanese. 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 Where, Japanese. Japanese. where uh, Japan is located? Where in Japan? South Asian. Ocean. In oh, Asian. Asian. Oh, the continent. Asian, Asian continent. All right. That's great. Asian the, the ancient Asian continent. continent. Yeah, the Asian continent. That's right. It's very interesting. Okay, look at the next one. So we talk about nationalities and also a uh, baseball. And he plays for Dodgers. So he used to play for Dodgers. The next one that is uh, Celine Dion. Do you know Celine? Do you know Celine Dion? She's Canada. Uh, where, 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 where is she from? Mm. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. And what is her nationality? Canadian. 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 
¿Cómo no se decía? Vamos a ver. Canadian. La vez pasada les dije. Digan conmigo Canadian. 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 Right. Canadian. That's right. Canadian. So we know the nationality is Canadian. Also, eh, what does she do? Teacher. ¿Qué es lo que hace ella? ¿Qué hace ella? Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Teacher. Singer. Singer. Yeah. Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Eh, tengo un pequeño problemita porque me quebraron el video del carro, entonces me voy a, solo voy a escuchar ahorita porque ya saca la policía. Oiga, por favor. Doribela Riaza, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Okay, sí. okay, ahorita lo vamos a anotar aquí. Ok, don't worry. Ok, thank, okay yo solo thank. voy a escuchar. Bueno. Ok, ok. Thanks. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ahí son situaciones, right? And one second, because I need to take that into account here. Ok, let's continue. All right, uh, we're talking about the number five uh, tire woods. You know, Tiger Woods, uh, where is he from? He is, he is the, from the US, you say? United, United States. Okay, from the United States. Uh, United States, right? United States. The United, United States. States. And what is the nationality? It's American. American. It's, it's American, American, right? American. Do, you, do you know what Tiger Woods do? Do you know what does he do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? He's He's golf a play golf. Player. He's a golf player. It's a golf player, one of the best golf, golf player. players in the history of the United States. Yeah, definitely he's he has won a lot of competitions and he's very famous for that. That's right. Okay, uh, congratulations for the work done. You know a lot about these people, and also we talk about nationalities. And uh, also, I'm sorry, I didn't ask what language. Do people speak in Canada? English. 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 What language do people English. in Japan speak? What language do people speak in, in Japan? Japanese. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Wow, that was Japanese. 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 Okay, thanks a lot. And now I feel more comfortable to know about this information, right? That's good. Well, let's continue with the rest of the class. And also we have some backup of previous exercises. Okay, we talk about uh, numbers. We have a backup again about the numbers. And we have, uh, the last time we started is on, until 100. So we can like continue thinking about that. Okay, um, I want you to listen carefully and also, uh, power off the microphones because we need to practice. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos y usted pues va a practicar ahí, usted va a escuchar. Y vamos con el primero. Entonces decíamos que 11 es 11, 12 es 12, 13 es 13, 14 es 14, 15 es 15, 16 es 16. 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, y 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30. Luego tenemos eh, 40, que es 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Y ahí comienza usted, 51, 52, 53, go on, go on until 60, que es 60, 60. Luego teníamos 70, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90. Luego llegábamos al 100, que era 100. Hay personas que dicen 100 o también pueden decir 100. Y ahí comienza 101, 102, 101. 102, 103, 104, 105, 
hasta llegar a 110, 120, 130, y ahí vamos, 100, 120, 130, 140, 140, 150, 150, etc. Vamos a hacer una práctica. Yo les voy a poner un número y usted en el chat me va a poner el, el número que es. No importa las veces que lo repitamos, pero es una práctica personal. It's a personal practice. So for that reason, I just write um, one number and you have to type it. Usted tiene que escribirlo. Entonces, enfóquese, por ejemplo, cómo se escribe. How do you write the word? Y pues ahí vamos haciendo una práctica. So I want you to focus in this vocabulary. Y me dicen cuando estén listos. Yes? Okay, let me stop. Oh. Let me stop sharing here because I'm gonna need um, a different file. One second. Let's move here. Um, okay, perfect. Um, this one. See, this is what I want. Um, numbers. Okay, let me share with you right now the this part. Okay, let's be briefed. We have the we have the answers here. Okay, we have 26. How do you write this word? 26. Tell me to answer. Uh 26. How do you write it? Look at the chat. Vamos a ver. Eh, 26. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Eh, Ajá, 26, excellent. Veo que lo están usando muy bien, muy bien, perfectly. Great job. So we have 26, we have Evelyn, Melissa, and then we saw no fast that we have been doing this one. Veronica too, thanks a lot. So we go on to the next number. And on the next one, we have in English the word uh, 97. How do you write this word? How do you write this number? I'm sorry. How do you write this number? 97, we'll say that in English. Excellent, Braulio. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, verifíquelo. Excellent, Evelyn, too. Anna, great job. Jacqueline, uh, Veronica, too. Vanessa, too. Thanks a lot. Also, Jose, Jocelyn, too. Great job. Uh, Jose, too. Uh, Wendy, and Norma, too. Melissa, thanks a lot. Okay, perfect. And then Ruben, also. And I have seen a different number. Okay, let's see the number in 77. Vamos con el 77. We're going to switch. And also Walter 2 and Alec Alexander 2. Okay, I see I have seen many of them. Okay, uh, Kevin, nice. Uh, 77, good. Okay, David, Vanessa, Raul again. 77, perfect. Great job. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca too, and Ruben too. Thanks a lot. Most of you have done a great job. So we're going to stop and we go on to the next one. And vamos a ver, vamos a poner el 121. Thanks, uh, 121. One hundred, eh, Kevin, le hace falta el 21. Eh, es 21. Excellent, Wendy. Thanks. 121. Yes, and Braulio, verifique ahí, and 121, 21. Yes, excellent. Perfect, Anna, jo Jocelyn too. Uh, Norma, Veronica too. Great job, Alexander. Um, yeah, thanks, Braulio. Yes, that's right, we have 121. Excellent. Um, vamos a usar el, el 105, vamos a usar el 105. Ciento cinco, ¿cómo sería? A hundred five, uh, okay, good. A hundred five, okay. A mm -hmm. hundred and five, okay, good. Excellent. You know, you know a lot about that, so that is uh, very interesting. Okay. Muy bien. 
Vamos con el eh, 18. Vamos a usar el 18. ¿Cómo sería el 18? 18. 18. Eh, verifíqueme ahí, Kevin. Let's see, let's see. Ah, no. Ahí, este... ¿Quién? Quiero ver. Eh, verifiquen ahí, por favor. Uh -huh. 18. Ok, good. Ok. That's right. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, I know that you have studied the, the numbers. So that was a very clear way to practice them. Perfect, because we need to make sure that we are, you know, using the, the right numbers. Okay, thank you also, Jocelyn22. I have seen that you updated these numbers. Okay, I think it's actually pretty easy for that part. We go on to the next exercise. So I'm going to stop here this. And also congratulations because you have done a great job. So you can see here. And also we talk about um, how old are you? We're talking about ages. Cuando preguntamos las edades, eh, decíamos que lo más común es decir, how old are you? Entonces, eh, pues nosotros decíamos, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. Decíamos que para referirnos a, a las edades es mejor decir, eh, I am 20. Hay personas que dicen, I'm 20, I'm 30, I'm 16, I'm 14, I'm 26, I'm 27. Entonces, es importante utilizar el years old, porque es muy formal, el utilizar el years old. En vez de decir solo, I'm 20, I'm 40, I'm 42. Lo que usted dice, I'm 20 years old. is recommendable to use it. Entonces, I'm 20 years old. Usted dice, uh, how old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? Oh, she's 15 years old. Tiene 15 años. Ok, she is 15 years old. Entonces vemos ahí la, la edad. Y veíamos acá la siguiente, pues, que es How old is Carlos? How old is Carlos? ¿Cuántos años tiene Carlos? Uh, Carlos is 30 years old. Vemos ahí eh, que son para las edades. Entonces siempre vamos a agregar el years old, que es una manera muy formal para decir la edad, en vez de decir uh, I'm 20. Es como cuando, cuando te dices, ¿cuántos años tienes? 20. Y tú solo mencionas el 20 o 25. Pero no, ah, yo tengo tantos años. Entonces ya cambia porque usted ya da un contexto de su respuesta. Si usted dice solo el número, es como que very simple, muy simple. Entonces hay que, hay que like, explain, like, I'm 20 years old, I'm, I'm 25 years old, I'm 30, 36 years old, and also mucho mejor. So Carlos is 30 years old. How old is Carlos? Teacher, pero la traducción verdadera de, de la edad no es esa, ¿verdad? Porque old es viejo, ¿o no? Eh, como es una palabra estructurada, cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, I am eh, 20 uh, years, years old, eh, la traducción es prácticamente como decir, tengo 20 años, por ejemplo. Tengo 20 años. Entonces, ese se convierte como years old es años. Es una, es una unión, es una palabra compuesta. ¿Acuerdan? Una palabra compuesta es aquella palabra que, que cuando se unen hacen un solo significado. Entonces, cuando yo digo, I'm 20 years old, es como que yo les diga, hey, miren, tengo 20 años. That's the word. Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Quiero que hagamos un ejercicio que está acá. Quiero ver, les voy a compartir aquí el the link. Um, como esto es una es un enlace de terceros no lo vamos a proyectar sino que ustedes lo van a hacer desde su equipo entonces nos vamos a ir al chat y les voy a compartir el enlace ahí les acabo de compartir un enlace entonces ustedes le dan clic y van a hacer un ejercicio donde habla acerca de las edades hay varias personas que están ahí, usted los va a escuchar y va a elegir por ejemplo las edades How old is this person? She is. How old is Claire? How old is Abigail? How old is Maite? How old is Greg? Entonces, eh, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que ustedes hagan los ejercicios y luego los vamos a socializar. Okay? Yes? 
Ready? ¿Es el video o los ejercicios de la que están ahí a la dieta? En los dos, en los dos, porque es, el primero es listening, entonces usted luego tiene que escuchar y luego pues eh, tiene que contestarlo. Así que pues, eh, we can start, I will give you some minutes. Thank you, eh, José. Ok, perfect. Thanks. Ok, you can start now practicing. Eh, teacher, ya, ya este, se llevaron a la persona. Ya pasó el problema. Ah, ok, qué bien. Pues, manera que, es, que haya, se haya resuelto. Gracias. Bueno, ahorita están en, en, en qué están. Estamos en, eh, no sé si puede entrar al chat. Ahí les he compartido un enlace para que pues, usted pueda hacer un ejercicio en línea que está ahí. Pero no y me aparece unirme al grupo. Es en el chat de, es en este chat de, de Zoom. Ah, pero para ingresar, ¿cómo hago? Solo le da clic, ve al chat y le da clic y ahí va a entrar directamente al, al ejercicio. Mm. No puedo entrar al chat, Piche. Solo le, le envió a un link. Solo me envió a un link. Um, sí, es decir, usted entra a ese link y ahí le va a mandar a ese ejercicio. Ah, ok. Ya Dígale sí. que...
¿Alguien me puede ayudar? A mí no me aparece la imagen 4, 5 y 6. ¿Me podrían decir las imágenes, por favor? Ah, pues creo que es error de la plataforma porque a mí tampoco me aparece. Ah, ok. Yo pensé que era solo a mí. Gracias. Excelente, gracias ahí este, a los compañeros que están escribiendo en el, en el grupo de, del chat de, de WhatsApp. Muy bien, ahí por ahí, thanks eh, José Moreno por the screenshot. That's great. Thank you so much. Ok, thank you. Uh, also, Janet, she wrote how old is Grant and he's 17. Yes, it's about practice. Yeah, it's about practice. Okay. Okay, in a, in a moment we come back because we need to and continue with the rest of the exercises. Remember that you have access to this uh, platform, so don't worry about it. Bien, vamos a ir regresando eh, porque estoy del tiempo. This was a practical exercise, the first part. And uh, we're going to pass the attendant list. So just allow me one moment, please. Uh -huh. Okay, um, you listen to your name, usted escucha su nombre y me dice presente, okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, vamos a ver. Yes, teacher. Eh, Ana Elizabeth García Rivas. Eh, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez. Present. Eh, Carolina Giselle Rodríguez Aparicio. Eh, David Alexander Mejía Moreno. Eh, David Antonio Polanco Alvarado. Eh, Denis Eliseo Gutiérrez Martínez. Presente. Eh, ah, what? Doribel Arely Arriaza Flores. Sí, teacher. Ok, thanks. Emerson, no pude, hola. No lo pude hacer, resolver el, el problema. Eh, ¿Del ejercicio? Sí, sí, correcto. Ah, pero pues debe ser. Usted es Doribel, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, debe ser quizás el, el, el equipo que está utilizando, que no le abrió esa, la página. Bien, vamos a pasar a la asistencia. Recuerden decirme presente. Eh, Emerson Alexander Moreno. Presente, teacher. Ok. Eh, Evelyn Janet Cáceres de Bonilla. Presente, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Fátima Esperanza Rivera Medrano. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Jennifer Marisol eh, Iraeta de Torres. Presente, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jonathan Eduardo Elías Granadeño. Presente, teacher. Thanks. Eh, José Aristides Moreno Alberto. Presente, teacher. Yeah, thanks. Jocelyn Noemí eh, Romero Alvarado. Presente. Thanks. And Kevin Josías Flores Barrera. Presente. Thanks. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. Acá estoy, presente. Thanks. Uh, Marcela Alejandra Lousel Bonilla. Marcela Alejandra. She's not. Melissa Giselle Rivera Girón. 
Presente, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Norma Andrea Acosta de Campos. Presente. Thanks. Eh, Omar Alberto Chacón Peña. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rebeca Michelle Gómez Majano. Presente. Thanks. Rubén Alexander Reyes Hernández. Rubén Alexander Snot. Eh, Ruth Noemí Guevara Reyes. Present. Thanks. Eh, Vanessa Scarlett Castillo Rivas. Presente, teacher. Eh, Verónica Stephanie Castro Rivera. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Walter Alexander Quijano. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedrillos. Cedrillos. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Yolanda Arely Flores. Presente, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Judy Alexander Osorio Rodriguez. Presente. Thank you, Judy. And por ahí no me contestaron unos al inicio, no sé si están, los vuelvo a repetir. Eh, Ana Elizabeth García. Ahí está. Eh, ok, um, Carolina Giselle Rodríguez Aparicio. No está. Eh, David Alexander Mejía. Eh, tampoco está. Quiero ver. Vamos a poner aquí. David Alexander Mejía Moreno. Ahí está, teacher. No sé si no le sirve el audífono, pero el, el audio, perdón, pero ahí está. Aquí lo veo yo en el video. Ya vamos a ver. Y David Antonio Polanco, creo que sí no está. Lo, eh, Marcela Alejandra Lausel Gonía. No está tampoco. Y. Here. Hola. Soy David Mejía. Tengo problemas con el micrófono, el audífono, por eso es que no me escucha. Ok. Eh, David Alexander, ¿eh? Right? Alexander Mejía Moreno. Ok, great. Thank you. Y Rubén Alexander Reyes, pues tampoco, es, tampoco contestó. Muy bien, entonces. A ver. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Ok, let's continue with the rest of the class. And thanks for all of you who said present and stay with us here in the class today. All right, so we were like developing different exercises and we have some other examples that we have here. Okay, look at the next one. It's the W equations with V. And also we have uh, different equations like what's your name? My name is Jill. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Yeah. How are how are you today? How are you today? I'm just fine. Who's that? He's my brother. How old is he? He is 21. What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? Cuando, cuando vemos la palabra what's he like, es cómo es él. What's she like? ¿Cómo es ella? Uh, y, y la respuesta es she's very nice. Y luego tenemos who's o who is para decir quién es. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? They are my classmates. They are my classmates. Where are they from? They are from Rio. What's Rio like? ¿Cómo es Rio? What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Vemos ahí el ejemplo de It's very beautiful. So we're talking about Rio. So we're talking about this, this part. Okay, let's continue. Okay, thanks to uh, Ruth that she uh, um, took a screenshot about the exercise. Thank you. Y vemos ahí que usamos el who. Eh, este who significa quién. Cuando usted va la palabra who, este se refiere a quién. What se refiere a qué. 
when se refiere cuando. Where se refiere donde. How se refiere cómo. Y why es para preguntar por qué. Entonces decíamos, who, quién, what, qué, when, cuándo, where, dónde, how, cómo, why, por qué. A ese se le llama WH question. Esa es la estructura como nosotros la conocemos, WH question. That is the, that is the word. So you can um, see the examples here. Okay, the famous WH question. All right. Let's continue with the rest of the activities. Hagamos un ejercicio en base a los W equations para formular ciertas preguntas. Look at this one. It says, fill in the gaps with the correct equation words. Choose between where, donde, when, cuando, what, qué, and who, quién. Entonces, usted va a ver la oración. You will see the statement, and you have to uh, select the best answer for this one. So look at that. So you can number them. Number one, you say that. Oh, it's Canberra. Oh, it's in Australia. When? Okay, Where? so take a time for Where? that. Don't worry. Take a time. Take a time. Answer them slowly. I, I'm just going to read them. And you take the time to answer them. Usted pues ahí vaya completándolas y pues vamos viendo. La dos era, are John and Mandy, they are my friends. Number three is like, it's your birthday. It's on 23rd to May. Number four is the Thames. It's a river. Number five is the concert on Saturday. Number six, is your school back? It's in my room. Number seven are London, Washington, D.C., and Paris. They are capital cities. And you are, uh, you're my, am I? You're my best friend. Okay, take a time to answer it. Okay, let's continue with this one. Um, we have the first one. What is the first one? Where? 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 Okay. Okay, you can check in the chat. You can check in the chat here. That's okay. correct. So the number one is this part. Is where because we're talking about places, locations. That's the way. Um, what about the number two? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, who? Whoa. Who? 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 Que suena como que fuera una J. Who? 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 Who are John and Mandy? ¿Quiénes son John y Mandy? Who? They are my friends. Number three. When? 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 It's because when? we talk about time, when? right? We talk about time. Hablamos del tiempo, entonces usamos when, because we talk about time. Yeah. What about the number four? What? 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 Uh, what is Tim? Is a river? Yes. What about the number five? When? 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 Okay, because we're talking about the time, 
Exactly. So number five will be uh, when. Number six. Wow. Where? Who? 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 Where? Mm. Where? 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 Yes, because we're talking about a location here. Estamos hablando de un lugar. ¿Dónde está tu school bag? Tu mochila. Oh, it's in my room. Entonces nos está indicando un lugar. So that's why. What about the number seven? Where? 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 Mm, Where? No. What? Mm. What? Yes. Oh. What? What? Yes. So what are London, Washington, DC, and Paris? They are capital cities. Ellos están preguntando qué son. What? What? ¿Qué son? Yeah. And the last one. Who? Who? Who am Who? I? Who am I? You're my best friend. So who am I? That's that's the way. Okay. So we have some minutes to uh to write some some questions and also some possible answers. Okay. You can see in the chat the answers about this exercise. So. It's one of the ways so we can practice vocabulary. So for this, we're gonna try to formulate some statements. Um, just give me one second while I change. Uh, the microphone. Uh, microphone. But I use somebody's uh, has the microphone. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. Can you see? Can you see the questions? Okay, vamos a ver. Me dicen si pueden visualizar la the screen. Uh, ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, all right. So I'm actually trying yes. to. Okay, perfect. I'm actually trying to um, sure, show you something here, but I don't know if you can see it. No sé si lo pueden visualizar o no. No, teacher. No. Teacher. no. Okay. okay, let me check because I, I think that there, there must be a problem here. Mm. See. Okay, look at this one. Um, look at the following um, part of the statement so you will help me to, to answer here this one. Okay, uh, do you live? I live in London. So we have the answer. So what could be the question number one? Where do you live? Where do you live? Yeah, where do you live? Um, yes, what about the number two? Who's? Who? Who? Okay, who's? Who? Who's that girl? She's my sister. 
That's right. Look at the number three. Oh. What? How. How. Where? Yes. How. How do you go to school? ¿Cómo? ¿Y cómo te vas a la escuela? How. Entonces, eh, la pronunciación es importante. Esta se pronuncia como el compañero la mencionó ahí. How. How do you go to school? By bus. So, the number three will we have this answer. Next one. Um, when? Mm -hmm. No. What? In this when case, you... when, yes, when. When do banks open? At eight o'clock, so it's giving us a time. So we, we actually have a time here. Okay, what about the last one? Why? Why are you wearing the, that coat? Because it's hot. Why? Mm -hmm. Why, teacher? Exactly. So look at the chat. So the answer will be, in this case, why? That's right. So we have uh, some time to do that. So as you can see, and we actually use the best, um, the best structures, especially in a conversation. We have to use the W equations in the best way. So the practice will be very, very valuable in this process. So my recommendation is always uh, try to um, practice with vocabulary, also with expressions in English that can help you. And also, and sometimes people are like, you know, teacher is when, which, why? So we have different ways to, to answer. Entonces, eh, nos va a servir también Eh, algunas expresiones bastante comunes y especialmente en las grandes estructuras gramaticales. Vamos a ver. Let me check the last one. Last one. Vamos a ver. Por acá tengo. Let's see. This is the last exercise before we go on. We conclude. And also, don't forget that uh, we have to um, complete the exercises, como sabemos. Eh, es importante, pues, que tengamos en cuenta que los ejercicios, los que estábamos desarrollando, en la plataforma los completemos, ¿verdad? Si hay que cerciorarse que podamos completar los ejercicios en la plataforma. No se les va a olvidar, eh, ya que, pues, para esta semana, pues, nos corresponde Lo que es la lección 3 y el midterm. Una que... pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. este, yo completé las dos secciones que correspondía la semana pasada. Uh -huh. Pero me mandaron un mensaje donde decía que solo el 60%. Incluso me mandaron una gráfica donde aparecía que el 60% había completado. Porque, pero yo lo completé y yo le doy enviar, enviar, no sé. Y le dije a la muchacha, porque ella me escribió y me dijo que cuando ya lo completara, le, le avisara. Entonces, le mandé el mensaje, pero ya no lo envió. Pero pues, ya al final no sé si lo terminó. ¿no? Sí, vuelve a consultar porque ellos son los que pues, están ahí eh, pendientes de la plataforma. Ellos pueden verificar y tienen acceso a ello. Ok. Yes. Eh, me preguntaban también ayer que... Eh, ¿Por dónde podían ver los videos? Eh, me comentaban de que a ustedes cuando les enviaron toda la información con los enlaces, ahí va un enlace donde están, eh, donde ustedes pueden ver los videos por YouTube. Entonces, para que ustedes lo puedan tomar en cuenta. Y ahí ustedes pueden ver las grabaciones de las clases que hemos tenido últimamente. ¿Hay alguien que no lo tenga todavía? Y pues también si alguien pues no lo tiene, también se le puede compartir ahí el enlace para que pues, pueda ver las grabaciones si pues, usted gusta. Bien, vamos con la última parte. La vamos a hacer as, as, as fast as we can. Y is your math teacher? La primera sería. Who? Who? Yes, excellent. Who? La primera sería who? ¿Quién es tu maestro? Y el math teacher de mate. Vamos con la número dos. Uh 
what? Where? Where? Where is his cat? The Where? blue, the, the blue one. Um, ¿Cuál es su gato? En este caso sería como, hey, ¿cuál es su gato? Es el azul. What? Ajá, entonces la, la respuesta what? sería what? 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 what is... Yes. What is that? Right. Número tres is my backpack in the living room. Where? Yes. Muy bien. Ahí vamos viendo en el chat las respuestas. You know, where? Eh, la número cuatro. Is Hannah doing? What? 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 Yes. Correct. Excellent. Vamos con la número cinco. Who? Who? Who is an engineer? Nora. Okay. Nora. No. Number no, number six. What? 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 What color is the new blue? New boss is red. Number seven. What? What? What is that? Oh, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? That is an old coin. Es una What's moneda that? antigua. Es una moneda yeah. antigua. It's an old coin. And the last one. Where? Where? Where are my shoes? In front of the door. Talking about positions, right? That's okay. Congratulations for the work done. It's actually interesting. Okay, students, don't forget that to come uh, to, to the next class. Uh, remember that tomorrow we have the, the next class and we will see you until the next week. So because Thursday is going to be a celebration and, you know, it's a, a, the Independence Day for all Salvadorans, okay? So I hope to see you the next class. Thank you for staying here and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Okay, thank you, Dishore. Take care. It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a good time. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Thank, you. thank you. It's a pleasure. Have a good time. Good night. Good night. Thank Bye. you. You too. Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, hace poco tuve un, un problema de conexión de internet, como está lloviendo por acá. Eh, me desconecté como cinco minutos. Um, quiero ver, eh, ¿le pasamos la asistencia? Sí, sí, la asistencia ah, sí me la pasó. Perfecto, perfecto. Ah, pues sí, don't worry about it. Este, eh, eh, este, ¿Siempre pasa asistencia o es primera vez que está pasando? Eh, siempre. Lo que pasa es que como también el sistema nos, nos guarda cuántos, cuántos minutos ha estado cada persona, por ejemplo, en la sesión. Aquí uh, verificamos, por ejemplo, cuántos minutos han estado y esto pues se van agregando. Ajá, porque este, uh, yo hasta ahora que escuché que, que estaba así preguntándole a cada quien. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, don't worry, no se preocupe, don't worry. Okay. Ah, okay. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, you too. Thank you.